Tudor England, 1485 to 1603. During the Tudor period, England grew great and powerful. It forged a strong new identity, broke its ties with Rome, and sowed the seeds of an imperial future. The Tudors, a Welsh family, rose to power after the confusion of a long civil war, the War of the Roses. The first Tudor king, Henry VII, banned private armies and put down any nobles who opposed him. He enriched his own finances and those of his nation. In 1509, when the young Henry VIII became king, England was an important power in Europe. Henry married Catherine of Aragon, daughter of Spain's Ferdinand and Isabella, and spent 15 years as a pleasure-seeking, Renaissance-style ruler, while Thomas Wolsey ran the government. After wars against France and Scotland, Henry became more politically aware. In 1521, he wrote a treatise attacking Luther, and the Pope gave him the title Defender of the Faith. He had only one living child, Mary, and Henry wanted a male heir, so he asked the Pope's permission to divorce Catherine. He was refused. At this time, new religious ideas and demands for church reform were common, so Henry broke with Rome and made himself head of the church in England. Henry married six times, and during his reign strengthened English control of Wales and Ireland, established a large navy, and planned various colonial and commercial ventures. He was succeeded in 1547 by his son, Edward VI, who died at the age of 16. During his reign, the Church of England grew stronger. Edward was followed by his half-sister, Mary I. Devoutly religious, she tried to restore England to Catholicism. The First Elizabethans When Mary died, her sister Elizabeth I came to the throne. Elizabeth was hard-working, popular, and intelligent. She refused to marry, and she made her own decisions. The Catholic Mary, Queen of Scots, Elizabeth's cousin, was found guilty of plotting against her, but Elizabeth resisted pressure to have her executed for many years. Elizabeth aided European Protestants and set out pirates against the Spanish ships. She made a settlement between English Catholics and Protestants and fought a war with Spain, defeating the Spanish Armada. England began to develop overseas ventures, and at home its industries and economy grew. This was Shakespeare's time when English culture and society flowered, laying the foundations for a period of imperial English greatness.